Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. As you guys probably know already, and as I've already done a video on, we are in dev blog season already, meaning that we should be getting the next update in War Thunder probably sometime in mid September. But for today's news, we have a new vehicle being announced the PV KV4. This is otherwise known as the Panzer Varn Konnenswagen 4, and pretty much this is just a different take on the other two vehicles that we already have in War Thunder and the Swedish Grand Deck Tree the PVKV2 and 3. Now the 4 variant will be a tank destroyer for Sweden of course and will be a rank 3 vehicle and pretty much what this is it's got the same exact 57 millimeter cannon as what you find on the 3 variant except that this has a closed in turret which means that it will be able to withstand strafing runs and light machine gun fire much more competently than of course the 3 variant because that thing gets annihilated same with the 2 variant by M Geez. The difference here, however, compared to the 3 variant, is that it will have a longer reload time because, of course, now it doesn't have that open top turret and the turret itself is much smaller and thus more cramped and thus will take a longer time to reload because, of course, of relatively poor ergonomics stemming from the fact that this is a much smaller turret space. So I'm expecting this to be 3.0, 3.3 BR, somewhere around there, being that the PVKV3 is currently 3.0. 3.3 BR. This might be the same BR. I mean, if it's only like half second worse reload, it might be the same exact BR because, hey, it's got more armor. So who knows? But this should be a pretty effective vehicle, especially considering that that 57 millimeter cannon, unless this has better ammunition types, which I'm hoping for, but that 57 millimeter cannon has anywhere between around 88 millimeters of armor pen with its AP HEBC ammunition, all the way up to around 101 millimeters of armor pen with its solid shot AP ammunition so hopefully we have slightly better ammunition options with the more modern variant the pvkv4 but we'll have to wait and see but otherwise i think this is going to be a relatively popular tank one of the big problems i've always had with the pvkv series is just how tall they are which makes them an incredibly difficult target to conceal so because this is going to be a bit smaller of a target even though it will of course have a slightly worse reload rate i think this could actually be a pretty effective vehicle especially around the low to mid 3br range so that said let me know what you guys think in the comments below of course i always appreciate every comment like subscription it always means the world to me either way thanks again and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone